Hey guys, it is Today I Grew Up here. I'm really excited to do the first Today I Grew Up podcast ever. I've never done this before. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey partners, most of my views come from non-subscribers, so please consider subscribing today. Hit that alert so you'll be notified for future videos. It helps me as I'm on my way to 100,000 subs this year. Really appreciate it. Hey guys, it is Today I Grew Up here. I'm really excited to do the first Today I Grew Up podcast ever. I've never done this before. And I wanted to, when thinking about the first guest, I was like, it's gotta be somebody very special, somebody that means a lot to the community. And what better than my friend, the mysterious JC Alva in the flesh. So we're really excited to have JC Alva. I remember a lot of fans have commented, where is the JC Alva? They would call you like you weren't a real person, but you are a real person. Here you are. Hey guys, my name is JC Alva and uh, I got involved because uh, I'm a fan, just like you guys. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> so so when did you start getting into Toy Story? Like when, when did you figure out you're like, oh, I'm actually a fan of this? <laughs> um, you know, since we were all young, I would say. So right away. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. So basically, you are infamous now for helping me modify the movie Accurate Woody which we have all grown to love on this channel. I post him daily. I'm actually posting him in another video soon. Um, but, but basically it's, it's really fun to like share that with the fans because it's such a crazy concept that, you know, Woody, when we got him from the toy sh shelves, you know, you, you think you're getting something that's a film accurate replica as John Lasseter has told us. And then we can bring it home and we're like, wait a second, there's something off here. And you look at it and the eyebrows aren't straight. The mouth is open. It's just like not how Andy held them in the movie, which is like a toy mode, basically. Um, yeah. But but where when did you get the idea to like, because you modded it actually first for yourself. I think I remember seeing some test eyebrows on your Woody. Can you tell us about how you got into that? Just a lot of like experimenting. Um, I'm kind of like familiar with like with custom figures and been doing that for for a few years like smaller star wars figurines yeah um nothing at a really a, at a bigger scale so woody is like the first bigger scale custom figure that i've worked on other cool. than that to like star wars sized figures four inch figures in that yeah. scale and what else did you did you collect i think you've collected some horror stuff right you're into horror yeah. and stuff like horror that figures, NECA, yeah. um and star wars very and, cool just like, yeah, yeah awesome expensive, expensive movie prop yeah and that's the thing when mod modding toys i even been putting some tiktoks out and basically i'm i'm telling people this stuff costs money like you you don't just like magically buy a toy and like only pay 10 20 bucks for it like it doesn't exist so if it's a custom mod you have to buy materials it's going to take time to make it and so basically we want to talk about woody and um movie accurate woody that you helped me mod and what what can you tell us about the process and if you can share anything and, and obviously there's a lot to talk about but um maybe we can start with the hat like what are your thoughts going into the hat like with the vinyl stitching and all that which is right here like it's a it's a vinyl thread right is that what it is yeah, like yeah. a vinyl, vinyl yeah thread you just got to find like the right size how long did it take you to actually find that like you're like oh this is the one this is the color <laughs> yeah it took a good minute like it took a while yeah as long as right when it matched, like it matches exactly. Yeah. That's when you know you got the right one. So if you guys are still in the process of making your version of the hat, I would keep going. Um, if it's a little too dark, you know, keep going. But right. if you're okay with it, you're okay with it. Yeah. Um, personally, the, the main objective is you, you got to get it to match the hat itself in order for it to look right. Yeah, and it looks fantastic, man. I, I really love my hat. It looks really good. I wanted it to match the hat itself. And for the thickness, that, that could also be optional um, as well. But I felt like this was the right thickness that worked well with the hat. That looks really good. Yeah, I, I liked it. When when we just settled on the color and the size, I was like, yeah, you nailed it. It looks exactly like the screenshots. So great job on that, man. It, everything you did is, is incredible. But we're going to we're going to keep going and we're going to talk about the head. So here's the head. <laughs> um, what can you tell us about the process of the head? Because obviously the head is like, well, there's airbrushing, there's 
what there's like modifying the eyebrows there's painting the the hairs what can you tell us about just the head about this woody <laughs> basically for the fans out there um for the most part i thought the head was pretty much good to go um of course if you, if you keep trying and you go at it you could you can make things better you know yeah yeah that's true um, when i first saw the head i was just gonna just gonna do a simple head swap i didn't really plan to go further yeah from I thought it was it was fine. Yeah, it wasn't the worst. <laughs> it, it was pretty much it was pretty much fifty percent there. And then once you start realizing, like, hey, it's missing the the highlights and the hair. It's you know, like you, like you said, it's missing the the eyebrows are stylized. One's higher right. than the other. Um, it's slightly posed. Yeah. And you know, I, you know, like those Woodies were released. They were still new at the time. So if I were to mess up on on it, I could just get another one like that. So I decided to uh, use a head, and I experimented with the plastic, and uh, you know, sculpting the eyebrows and and like the hair modifications. I just and um, that's why we had to do a whole repaint on the hair. Yeah. I feel like in complete repaint, I feel like it um, it sticks to the plastic itself more. So. Um, the rub, the paint rub should, should be not as, um, effective. I, I feel like it makes a difference. It yeah. And, I, really and when you, when you say you sand down the eyebrows, I've actually seen somebody use like a really sharp scalpel, I guess, like type mm -hmm. instrument to like scalpel it off. And then are you, did you suggest like, did you sand it or did you like use a scalpel or both? Or like, how did you actually get those eyebrows off? <laughs> Cause it was like off. Yeah. Um, you know, you just, just use, uh, you know, it's, it's a matter of experimenting mostly. Okay. So um, you could use a razor blade and then sandpaper, of course. You could use, you could use like whatever grit that you think, nothing too rough. I yeah. start soft and elbow grease. And then you can continue further and, and use products and try to remove the uh, surface scratches. Yeah, that's cool. So, no, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Cause I, people are always baffled. Like you, you're like a magician. You created something that's like, how did you do that? <laughs> you know, it's like, and so that's the question I get asked. And a lot of times it's like that the reason why I can't tell people how to do it is because number one, I didn't actually make it. You did that. And number two, like th those are things that gifted artists can do. Like I, I can only mod so far on a Woody, right. But you went the further and did a lot for me. So I, I will always be indebted to you for that. So how did you do the, the airbrushing on the cheeks and stuff like that and the lips? How'd you get the paint on there for that? Because it was pretty plain before. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just airbrush and okay. then, then seal it afterwards. Nice, nice. <laughs> you know, so if it's too much, you can rub it off with your thumb and reapply. Okay. Yeah. And then um, is there anything for the well, we can talk about the vest all day you we actually hired um didn't you hire like a seamstress to like kind of shorten the vest and all that like, yeah make it shorter um, um with the fabric itself you can only go as far as shorten it um yeah yeah put it up and restitch it all the way um i just True. attempted to, to get it shrunken mm -hmm. it a few times etc get it hot okay and just you know just tried tried shrinking it without um totally getting too invested in focusing yeah. on an aspect of um on the project because we we wanted to do this in a timely matter yeah for sure yeah and that and that was a big thing too because people people don't realize sometimes how much work things actually are <laughs> to do mm -hmm. you know it just takes time and especially like the joints here like i like how you can rotate the wrist and there's no issues with that and here there's no bulk like the original disney store hand came with this really fat joint um yeah. how, how hard was that to do like to kind of modify saw it off i guess and zip tie it is that what you did or how'd you do that part <laughs> well, I, used, I used another joint and i attached it okay like, mm -hmm. yeah because it looks really good <laughs> um this custom is more of a more of a kit bashed custom yeah. kit bashed, um if you, if you guys aren't familiar with that term it's where you take other figurines and and you make it as a whole yeah right yeah because this original woody was like three different woodies if you think about mm -hmm. it <laughs> you know it's like white logo collection woody 
Then you have the huggable plush head from Thinkway and then these Disney store hands. Um, and then these boots are from Thinkway, but then you painted them as well. Um, the other hard part that I could have never done is the Ruby. Um, what can you tell us about the Ruby and how you added that to the holster? Cause that's another crazy one. <laughs> yeah. So with the, with rubies and whatnot, um, you just gotta look at the source material and the shape. Um, I don't have any rubies on me to show, but that's fine. I have the picture. <laughs> we have the picture. So the ruby has like a particular shape. So I've seen others use like a flat, circular one. You know, that's mm -hmm. not entirely accurate. It has like a like a like a sort of like a like a diamondish shape. Yeah. Um. You just got you gotta get the right shape, and then you gotta get the right size. Yeah. And then you know. Do and you then just you, you just kind of just, just do a lot of like Google searching and and then go go into arts and craft stores and just you just make it your mission and just try to find the best the best version that you think that's going to work well. Right, right, exactly. Because everybody's going for a different style, maybe a little bit too. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, other vendors, places where you could buy. You know, there's not there's not one source. Like you could use whatever paint you want. I don't recommend um to use anything cheap you know yeah. you get you get what you pay so if you buy you use cheap paint then it's gonna flake so yeah, for sure yeah. for sure yeah and that and that's one thing i've you know i, I remember when i bought i bought this and like i we modded it and you told me i'm like i'm just gonna display it i actually used it for some live actions obviously i didn't throw him around he was that mm -hmm. was my stunt would he but but for moving him around and like kind of shake him around that's the most I do with it. His paint has held up. There's been no damage. Um, his paint is not scuffed at all. So whatever you used was really high end because even when these spurs bang together, sometimes like yeah. you would, there's no flaking at all. Like these are not, it's not coming off. <laughs> so, so you did a good job. Like it's, there's no paint chips or anything. So you, you did great. Whatever paint you used, it worked. So that was really good. Um, so thank you for that. It's really great. It's, it's just some, it's a masterpiece for me. I really love it. Cause it's like, basically we took something Thinkway Toys could have made. So we just went that extra, you definitely did went the extra step and we got things right. So it was pretty good, <laughs> pretty yeah. exciting. So what was the heart, I guess, well, you obviously cut yourself in the process. I remember you showed me a picture. You're like, oh, I'm bleeding. <laughs> so like, How many times did you like bleed for this Woody? Cause that's pretty crazy. <laughs> I would say probably, probably just that one time. Oh, okay, most, I was gonna because <laughs> you're like using a blade or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because I could just imagine you like on this stuff, like blading the original plastic off. That would be pretty dangerous to do, maybe. Yeah, yeah. No. So, yeah, man, you did a good job. I'm glad you didn't die in the process or bleed out. So that was good. Uh, you definitely didn't. You're like, I remember when you cut yourself. You're like, don't worry, I didn't bleed on your prop. I'm like, well, are you, are you okay? First of all, <laughs> I want to know if you're fine first, you know. But yeah, Woody was fine. But that's great, man. What about the bottom? How did you do the Andy on the bottom of the boot? Was that how did you? Did you what'd you do? Just a sharpie. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't even look like one. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. it looks like you put some black wash on it or something too, a little bit. Well, that that too, that too okay. to get the, the effect. Because um, if you notice, um, on his boot when he lifts it up on the, on yeah. the first, it's it's a bit it's weathered. But weathered. Yeah, it's not it's not shiny, you know. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Did you ever mod your Woody? Because I know you were walk, working on one too. But... Um, yeah, you know, mine's not done. So as of right now, yours is the only it's the only prototype. <laughs> it's the only yeah. one of one JC Alva. <laughs> well, I wouldn't yeah. necessarily say that's a prototype. I would call it um let's I would say it's a, a version one. If, if yeah. any. Version the, one. The, yeah, the original one that I was working on um was a prototype. Yeah. But that, that one is no longer with us because um many experiments on that head. So <laughs> oh I see. So eventually, like it didn't, it just didn't work out for you. That one that you're experimenting mm -hmm. on. Most of the experiments did work, but I was curious, you know, try other yeah techniques and see okay. how they react with the uh, plastic and curing. Yeah, I mean, it it, it just looked hard. When, whenever you did something, I was like, I don't know how you did it, but you pulled it off. Because, so, <laughs> like, scu sculpting eyebrows, that's got to be so delicate. Like, you have to use little tools. Like, how are you going to use it on your fingers? I don't know. <laughs> I really like to, what I like to sculpt with, like, I just try to use, like, everyday sort of things. I try to make things 
possible. Okay. You know, whatever works. So you could go out there and buy sculpting tools, but yeah. I like the thinner, thinner blades. I like to use like razor blades. Like okay. Thin razor blades. That's how what I like to sculpt with. That makes sense. You get the sculpt to where you're satisfied with. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And then as it cures, then you can mess with it after. So right. as, before it cures, you try to get it as neat as possible. And then when it's when it's cured, then you could reshape it and, and style it. So for, for people who don't know, what is cured? What's the definition of cured mean? So people, because people might ask. <laughs> so, you know, first it's like, it's like Play-Doh material, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And then like within like a day or two, it'll be hard as a rock, the sculpting. Right. Yeah. So you have to wait. And that's the hard part. It's like you sculpt, yeah. it cures, you have to wait for it to harden. Then you, then you got to look at, okay, how did it harden? Did it change the shape? Right. Because sometimes that could change what it looks like before it, it cures right so right. yeah so that's that's probably a really tough part so it was a lot of back and forth i remember you would show me the eyebrows were like oh let's try again or let's try this and then we just like figure it out but eventually i think it looks i i personally love the way it looks on him um i think it looks great so like with the eyebrows being higher and whatnot so yeah we're, we're not working with the actual screen grab image. We're working with right. the actual think way. So, so if you put the actual think way head compared to the, you know, obviously there's some minor differences. You can, you can argue and say that the, the jaw is a little more extended. You could say that the head's a little shorter. Right. That could be opinion or, you know. Yeah, he looks like Steve-O. Right awesome. He looks really good, actually. Not bad at all. <laughs> so I've sculpted the eyebrows. Um, many like probably twice on this head and i felt like you know what i can do better like, it was, right it was pretty good but i know i can do better so i'm like you know what i'm gonna eat third time's a charm probably with with this guy yeah so i haven't have it yet to do, redo the hair but first i'll be doing the eyebrows and after i get the eyebrows to where i like and then i'll work on the hair and so forth the what kind of been painted and the blush has been painted as well what, what kind of tools did you use to paint uh, the the hairlines? Like, was it a very fine-tipped uh, paintbrush? Is that what it was? Yeah, very okay. fine-tipped paintbrushes. Very small. Okay. Yeah, and that's a cloud pattern, right? That's a 2009 cloud yep. pattern? That is yeah. a cloud pattern. Yeah. So with the cloud pattern woodies, what I've noticed personally, um, in my opinion, lighter jeans, of course, and uh, thinner legs, it seems like, for the most part. That's true. That's true. You know, I, I would probably argue exactly the same thing because the white logo, it, yeah, they're thin, but I feel like the, the 2009 is a little bit thinner. Um, yeah. These are a little bit chubbier, a little bit, <laughs> but you can tell for sure. And it's funnier because it's a real denim jean. So it's actually thicker jean material. So you would think it would be thicker, right? But it's not. <laughs> so. You know, everyone has their opinion on everything. Like bes besides Woody or anything Star Wars and prop community, collector community. Um, it, it, like you could say the color's different, the hat, you, uh, some think that the hat doesn't stay on well enough or it doesn't Oh stay yeah, on that's too right. Too. Honestly, as you can put see, stuff here, in it. I don't have anything in it. I find it, I think it sits on the head just right, you know? Yeah, I'm not, I've, I've never been mad about it. that. I, th I think it's pretty lifted. I don't think it was really necessary to add. Yeah, like, Putting the hat on like this, you can you can move it around. I don't think it looks bad at all. I think it yeah. looks pretty good. But I don't know. There's some people in the community that are like, no, you should put the glue dots in there. You should do this. And it, I think it all goes back to personal preference, you know? Like, yeah, to, to, to me, he's a floppy rag doll. His head it moves a lot, <laughs> you know, which is really, really cool. And that's something you, that's something actually I wanted to talk about. How did you get the floppiness so good like this? It's really floppy. <laughs> um, zip tie in the matter of, um, if you, if you, if you zip to tie it too tight, then it's going to be more sturdy. So you don't want it too loose to where the head's going to pop off. Yeah. But you just want to, you want to get that right sweet spot. So right okay. now it's a little saggy because I don't have a voice box in it at the moment. Okay. But, okay. Yeah, it looks really good too. It looks like mine. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the same, it's the same floppiness. <laughs> Cause obviously you did the same work, but it looks really good, man. <laughs> yeah. It even stays on with the hat, which I'm really impressed with. So 
See, that's exactly how I remember Woody from Toy Story watching the movie. You know, when Andy was flying him around, like that's exactly how he moved. Like it was a floppy ragdoll. Yeah. There's awesome. no, nothing in there. Right, but, right. Yeah, personal preferences. Personal then, preference. I think I got lucky on this vest. Like, sure, you can yeah, get out there and, and find better sources, better vendors. And, but I feel like. I mean, yeah. I feel like. I mean, this most vest of them looks are, good. Are noticeably big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this but you, looks good. You want, like a, you want like a gap right there on the bottom. Yeah. And then you want to match when you do sew it, you want to match it with the um, line. You want it right on that red line right there. Yeah, yeah. That's what I did actually on there. I sewed this back on because it was a little loose. Um, so I, I made sure it was on that line. I sewed it myself. But but that was the only thing is I had to resew this front part. But other than that, everything was perfect. And I still had to get to the back because of the battery compartment. So, but that doesn't really bother me too much. <laughs> but I think it looks great. Everybody. Everybody's going to have an opinion, but for me, I'm perfectly 100% happy with this Woody now. <laughs> like, I think he's perfect for me. You know, obviously, you've probably seen it on my channel. I, I upgraded the buttons and the, the badge and in the voice box, the slower track now and all that stuff. But that was just the fun, crazy process of getting there. It took another, what, <laughs> almost another year to do all that. Yeah, so. I didn't even know you were, you were going to um, include all those other gimmicks. Me um, either, to be honest with you. I, I just kind of thought, and I talked to people and then people were like, hey, what if you did this? What if you did that? And I and in my mind, I'm like, I always do what I think is best. So the badge for sure, that badge is a huge upgrade from Thinkwave Toys' this badge. You know what I mean? It just looks yeah. a lot better. Um, and this is a texturized badge from somebody 3D printed for me in Brazil. And I just like people that have good eyes and eye for detail. And he definitely nailed this badge and I just love the textures on it you know and that's something that I wanted for him um and then the voice box well the buttons the pearlized buttons are not 100% movie accurate but they just look I don't know the Thinkway ones were kind of cheap you know so I wanted to make it more deluxe looking you know what I mean yeah. so and then the only thing I added that you didn't add was the the slow retract I didn't put batteries in them I have to put them back in but it's it's just such a cool thing like i was like if it's possible why not just just put it in there <laughs> you know the finishing touch right you know the finishing little touches but basically i didn't really touch woody more than what you did i just i literally just added those little tiny things and that was it it just kind of like was the cherry on top you know <laughs> you built the sunday basically <laughs> and i just put the little sprinkles on top you know and that's and that's thanks to you and everybody else in the community who helped me from brazil who helped me from uh uk and china actually so all over the world this woody is kind of like a representative of the world helping me do this like you're from utah so this is like the utah thing so with the whole when it when it fell off because we we originally used that rare disney score uh disney store uh voice box yeah that's right that's right and when you decided to scrap that idea you yeah. go with the slower track and right. a different voice box yeah um that's probably what made the stitching come undone because it was a bit thicker. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. No, yeah, that was definitely my bad. That was definitely my bad. <laughs> that was the thing you did. Yeah. If if I would have known that we would have went that route, what I would have suggested would uh, just go inside and and uh, take out some stuff and yeah. inside them okay. and make them skinnier. And so when you do put in that new voice box, yeah. it's not going to have, it's, it's not going to be as bulky. I'm not mm. saying that yours is bulky or not. I'm just using in, um, I'm just using in an analogy. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I, and I agree with you. It doesn't, the cool thing is the voice box is the right size because it didn't bulk him up at all. Like it's, he's not chubbier for it. Um, even here, like it fits in there just right. It almost make, it almost seems like the voice box was meant for this Woody because look, there's actually a little bit of room in there still. Yeah, which is pretty awesome. So that's the only reason why I stuck with this voice box. It's slow retract. Tom Hanks is in it. <laughs> Tom Hanks' voice is really pivotal, you know, for me to have. Um, just because it's like if we're going for movie accuracy, like why not go a little bit more, a little extra? Um, since we went this far, you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, another detail that I've um, also included mm -hmm. um, was I made these holes here wider. 
Oh, that's they were, right. They were like, yeah. That's right. I totally the forgot about that. <laughs> loops, so I included that as well. And then I included the bonus stitching um, on yours. Mine, mine currently doesn't have that. Yours is definitely has a lot of upgrades. Mine is just still in a uh, still right. a work in progress. Because it's got that <laughs> that red stitching. Can you tell us about how you did that red stitch or the red stitching? How that was done on there like that? Oh, I've had the steam trust uh, do that. So okay, that was yeah, it. it looks very pro. <laughs> I was oh, I I gave her reference photos and I was very um, particular with how I wanted it and. I was trying to get her to get it as close. I think I think um, there's about seven stitches that Woody has okay. right there. Right. So that's another you know detail that you could look at. Yeah, it looks it looks amazing to me. I love that that detail was thrown in because it's just it it makes it more magical for me. Like the movie prop that came from Andy's toy collection, and now this is Andy's Woody basically because it's the one with the red stitching, you know, from mm -hmm. Toy Story Two. So. And then the other thing I included on yours was I made this um, a bit flexible. It's mm. originally it's just you know it's just the one piece like okay. that. And oh, now I see right here. Piece. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, this part right here. Yeah, it's just flexible. This part right here. Yeah. So you can you can you can flex it and you know. Oh, that's it's, cool. It's not a solid piece anymore. Yeah, you know what? I never really I noticed that, and I totally forgot to show and share that with the fans. So thanks for bringing that up, because yeah, I totally forgot about that. Oh, and the magnet. Thank you so much for the magnet. I still use the original magnet that I came with, but I added a second magnet because I noticed sometimes when I did this, it would fall off a little bit. But okay. that's because it's a different kind of badge. It's it's different than Thinkways. So this one's a little bit heavier, I think. So I put two magnets now. I don't have a problem with it. It just comes on and off and. It's pretty strong. It's not gonna fall off. So, <laughs> so that's cool. And then with the vest, um, for anyone that wants to work on theirs, uh, it's like like that. Okay. Oh, okay. So the button should right. be the first button goes right here, and then I believe the second one goes about right here. Okay. Again, you want this right on the line itself. Right. Touching as possible, and then. This has about like about a gap right there as well. Okay, yeah, that makes so sense. Just, you know, looking at a lot of reference photos and screenshots and whatever you can find, even like even little birthday cards, anything mm -hmm. with Toy Story on it, you know. Right. Um, right. Especially now that Toy Story Four came out, there's a lot of HD images out there and source materials that you could get more of a feel for. Again, they did make things a bit more detailed. The buttons, right? Um, you know. That was upgraded. Uh, the ruby was upgraded. Not sure if they intended to have this um, be plastic or not. Maybe they wanted. They did want it to be an actual ruby. Right. But uh, you know, even with Buzz Lightyear himself, there, there's noticeable upgrades on this. On this one right here, as you can see here, let me see if hopefully this is clear on my end. Um, there's yeah, a shape, there's a shape even on, even on the. Um, you want you want this style this style of ruby this is not a real ruby obviously this is the think ways plastic molded ruby but you right. want that shape it has that like that diamond shape yeah. with those edges i've seen others using just like circle yeah and then if you could get like that is meant to be a, a little silver ring right there but they didn't really include that um with john he what i think what he was really going for was just to make it look good enough for most people because most people it's like oh hey it's woody yeah you know it looks obviously looks better than the 1995 the original uh actual merch woody right exactly and, that one was pretty bad <laughs> yeah, that one, you know, this is goal just to just to um just to make it better and i i it for the most part it is pretty accurate in the in the look itself but of right. course it could have been better upgraded I think he was going for more of a, a, a live mode as opposed to a toy yeah. mode. It was more alive, like, like yeah. oh, he's alive. He's, it, let's have fun with Woody. He's alive with you, basically, versus, oh, Andy's just holding him because he's not come to life yet, <laughs> which is like this, the toy mode. <laughs> like, it's Woody, but toy mode. And then like, so. another thing I've seen people uh, address is the, the color of pants, like, oh, it's lighter, it's darker, etc. That could also do with lighting, lighting effects. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
even this woody some lighting if it hits him right look it looks dark right here now it looks super light it just depends on the lighting right so the genes change all the time basically <laughs> just like a photo a photo could look better or worse right. depending on the lighting um again like with stormtroopers some could um initially think hey aren't stormtroopers are white white they're actually more of a uh an off-white color so yeah. it's something you're probably not going to notice unless if you see stormtrooper and a stormtrooper armor itself or the actual stormtrooper helmets oh nice um, they're not symmetrical like this one right here it's actually it's oddly shaped it's a little it's a little crooked um yeah it's like a crooked look so this is where the ear plates uh the ears line up yeah it's really cool this example but it's a little it's 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 not symmetrical yeah i see that yeah that's good i like it man it's it's really cool that you collect star wars and other things so basically um you know that that's something i wanted to share with the fans was like you know the the making of woody how did you actually do it you know what was the process like and you know there's just some things that i always tell people like just work hard try your best like don't worry about what people do to criticize or judge you if you're happy with a prop that should be good enough for you and that's it like you know what i mean it's like i'm open to criticism but to a certain point there's a lot of people who argue like oh no, you can't take criticism. It's not that I don't take criticism. It's like, you can't tell me what I like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if I like Woody and this is my Woody and I, I approve it and this is what I like, then it's not wrong because it's my prop. <laughs> you know, it's my movie prop, my collection. <laughs> so, but you know, I always tell people just, just try your best be happy with what you got. There's and always, There's always going to be, there's going to be yeah. something ridiculous. And that's with, that's with any fandom. Right. Every there's community. Anything, yeah. You can nitpick on anything and everything exactly nothing's ever perfect you know even toy story animators screwed up in the movie <laughs> like like the you know the little tots would change colors or you know yeah. errors all over the movie actually in the first toy story movie there's a lot of errors in it too so <laughs> not even the mm -hmm. movie's perfect <laughs> yeah. so the only way to get like an actual perfect, perfect is if you actually grabbed it out of the tv <laughs> which is <laughs> itself as opposed to like a a cgi right thing. right that's true <laughs> as, long that's as, cool. as long as it's close enough it's close enough that's exactly what i think when i see this woody i wanted something closer to toy story 2 woody but at the same time i i just love woody in general so if it looks like woody that's good enough for me so and he looks really good yeah so thank you so much again for making my dreams come true because honestly ever since i was like really young to even a young adult and how, how old I am now. I've always wanted a Woody from the movie in toy mode, just like Andy held him before I went to college in Toy Story 3, essentially, and Toy Story 2. And it's just like, when I look at Woody, I see that magic. It's like, wow, like this is art. This is art in real life. Something that tangible from the TV, the movie screen in real life. And that's just so cool to me. I don't know. So I really appreciate it. I think you did an amazing job. And a lot of fans out there love your Woody. So um, mm -hmm. it, it literally it's 99% positive. You know, don't listen to the 1% out there, but like it's everybody loves your Woody. I love it. So you did a successful job. So I just wanted to thank you on camera and thank you again thank for you. just taking the time to do that for us, for the community. Um, just since, cause this Woody's inspired a lot of people, you know, a lot of people out there are now doing mods because we started this process and started showing people, Hey, look, you can, Frankenstein Woody but then you can go further with Woody from that there is no right or wrong way when it comes to creating um and so um just try it try it for yourself and if you're not confident then buy another head and do right. it again but you know keep keep doing it and you'll get there I love uh, it. The, hard part, the hard part was definitely the, the face the face can make or break a piece yeah, so, definitely. With the body nice and neat and stitched, but for some reason the paint's clumpy or it scruffs or something's chipping. Yeah. That that could just end the piece right then and there. So definitely yeah, the, the the whole figuring out like is this gonna work? Yeah. Like this type of paint, this type of techniques, this like the color, the shade. Uh oh, what color paints? Um they didn't really have the right color. I actually had to mix uh, about two or three different shades to get a shade to where I thought was close enough. Right, exactly. And that's what I did with Mr. Potato Head mod. I painted him 
to look like Toy Story 1 Potato Head, but I mix that paint myself. There is no Mr. Potato Head paint. Like you have to make it. Exactly. <laughs> you just have so, to hide it. <laughs> exactly. And again, like there's no right or wrong sculpting twos. It's all pref preference. You could even use a pair of scissors if you wanted to. Maybe yeah. Maybe you, you want to sculpt with that. You can right. use whatever you want. You don't, you, you can draw the eyebrows before you want to sure. do it. Personally, I don't, I don't draw the eyebrows. I sculpt as I'm doing it. Right. Hey, that's a good idea. You could like do, you can do a drawing mm -hmm. and then like, use a scalpel to like cover it up you know <laughs> or something i don't know yeah, I, I, find, I find it it doesn't work too well like the pencil mm. like it just smears yeah it i, I like three-handed so okay three-handed and i try to get that right shape you know get get the angles reference have the head backwards look at it in different angles and just okay. try to get it right um so so we're basically getting to the end now of the podcast and thank you again for being my guest. I just want to ask you one more question. Is there anything else? I know, I know people want you to mod it for them. I know the answer already, but I want to ask you, will you mod Woody for anybody else for commission? <laughs> uh, as of currently at this time, probably not anytime soon, maybe next year. Um, I would probably, it, it would depend on the customer as well. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, for sure. If they're willing to, if they're, if first they'd have to be a serious customer. Right. <laughs> um, personally, personally, I would prefer to uh, make it make it for a collector as opposed to. Yeah. Um, yeah. What uh, if they're just a flipper? They're like, I'm going to sell on eBay for like ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's great. No, I totally understand. I, I want to actually tell people, you know, to please respect you and your time. And that's why mm -hmm. I don't really like put your links to your Facebook, because I don't want people to like just spam you. I might get back on into Instagram. Okay. But as of right now, um, I'm not. In, I'm not really active there. I might start posting okay. just just whatever I want, just like art related stuff. Here's another project that that cool. is almost basically done. This is another thing that I've made for a person. It's Google Star Wars clone nine nine mm -hmm. clone super ninety nine. You could you could see, but the head sculpted. Everything here is sculpted. Again, wow. like same thing, same technique, sculpt and paint and and kit bash awesome i love it I man need the belt and i still need to paint the strap and i still need to detail the feet etc and, and maybe add another shade again that's another thing with painting um some things are more you, you need to paint it and then add another shade to lighten up the blue if you want to darken then use a darker shade so it's not just a one done and thing you just you gotta like there's it's trial and error and experiment right. experiment well, maybe one day we can start a toy factory, but we'd have to get a Disney uh, license and Hasbro license <laughs> or something. Who knows? But um, no, you do good work, man. And I, I really appreciate it. It's really fun. And the fans really appreciate you talking about all the details. It looks really good, man. So as of right now, that is that is the only GT Alva Woody um, out there um is your woody yeah and thank you <laughs> another woody and maybe my woody that that's probably gonna be the version two you should do it yeah i'm gonna do any other modifications again it just depends on just 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 what i'm currently dealing with in life and on the customer and they're willing to right. work with me because i good mob school etc yeah and I, and I'll, and if somebody's actually serious enough I, I will definitely screen them for you and then we could we could talk it out later on if we if that's a, an option later obviously people leave jc alva alone he's a, he's a very busy man so let's just appreciate his work from afar for now and we always tell people what you should work hard you know dream big put your mind to it never give up and you can accomplish anything make impossible and impossible so definitely that's something you did. And um, yeah, anything else you want to say to the Toy Story community before we say goodbye? Next time we'll talk about just one subject, just about the head alone. Make yeah, like yeah. We could do a second. series. <laughs> yeah. We do like a Woody series. You know, this was just like the overall look. And now we can do like deeper dive. That'd be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot, JC, for your time. And uh, we'll have you on again on the Today Grub podcast on another time. <laughs> thanks for having me. All right. Take care, man. Bye. Bye. You want the real buzz like you, you're a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.